Warriors. Hi YouTube, it's Chi Chi here. And today's video, like the title says, is going to be a Walmart fall haul video. So I asked you guys in the community tab what you guys wanted to see, and overwhelmingly you guys voted for this Walmart haul. So I am ready, are you? <laughs> it's officially fall and I'm super excited to dive into fall fashion. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's what you're into, then you are in the right place. Keep on watching. Yes, it's gonna be. Should we start with the good news or the bad news? Let's start with the bad news. Okay, y'all, I don't know what I was thinking when I purchased this <laughs> online. There's just something about what a hat does to an outfit. It is the perfect third piece. It's super easy. It just completes your look and also keeps your head warm as we enter the winter months. I wanted to find something that was more affordable for you guys. So when I saw this hat on the website, it looked much better, okay? And I was like, okay, let me find a comparable hat to my Brixton um, a hat. There's nothing like technically structurally wrong with it. It's just the material that it's made out of. Like you can literally do that. Okay, and I don't want any hat that does that unless I'm traveling or unless it's a beanie. And even if I'm traveling, I still don't want this to do this. It's just too unstructured. It doesn't do a very good job at holding its shape. And most importantly, it doesn't even fit. It's a no for me, sis. It's a no. All right, before we get into the video, okay, we gotta give shout outs to today's sponsors and that is Magic Links. Now, if you have been following me for anything less than a second, you can go back to the description box of my videos up to two years ago. You will see there's a little blurb there talking about joining Magic Links. And that's because I like to put my girls on, okay? I like to put my girls on, especially now with everything that's going on in the world. Um, I always wanna share with you guys ways that you can, you know, secure your bag. Cause if your bag is secure, my bag is secure. Cause you know, a rising tide um, lifts all boats. So if you don't know what Magic Links is, it is an affiliate marketing company. They help creators, big and small, monetize their content. That's basically like fancy words of they help creators secure their bag. For those who are new to affiliate marketing, if I recommend something to you from a specific retailer like Nordstrom or ASOS and you like it and you click the link, the advertiser, Nordstrom, ASOS, gives me a tiny commission on sending traffic to their sites. So it's super easy to sign up for Magic Links if you apply. Um, as a creator, and this is the perfect platform for people, for um, creators of all sizes. So please don't think that you have to be like a certain level to apply. They have so many tools that makes it super easy for you to monetize the content you share. I use Magic Links all the time here on YouTube to tag the outfits I wear in my lookbook, the outfits I haul in my hauls. For example, this um, jacket right here is from ASOS. All I have to do is just like click this button. It will give me an affiliate link to this jacket. It's super easy to apply and it's another way that you can start making money ASAP. So there's gonna be a link, my referral link down there. Click it, sign up. All right guys, I feel like we don't talk enough about basics. So I just wanted to share with you this top that I got from Wally World, Walmart, from Scoop. I have a similar color to this, like a turtleneck version that I got last winter. Everyone needs like a nice selection of just basic like ribbed tops like this. The 70s trend, it's huge for fall and winter. And so I can see why rib knits like this are super popular. It doesn't have to be ribbed. It can be like just a basic, you know, a cream colored crew neck like this. So here is a perfect example of how I style them. I style them with some slacks for like a warm work. Um, look, you can throw on a biker jacket after hours. This is actually from a suit that's old, so you can wear, you know, your suit, your blazer to work, and then throw on a biker jacket after hours. And these pieces are just workhorses in your wardrobe. 
I believe I have this in a extra extra large. I probably could have gotten the extra large. I love the fact that it comes with this cute button detail. Um, at first I thought they were gold buttons and I love the fact that they're tortoiseshell instead. It's a little bit more chic and it's just a subtle detail to the top. And it comes in several colors. I think there's a pink one that I really like. It was sold out in my size. But yeah, grab yours today. biker shorts i don't know about you guys but i am living in biker shorts and i'm probably going to be living in these until like late november when it's too cold to <laughs> to wear them and i have to wear leggings instead and i saw this two pack of joggers on walmart and i decided to grab them and that's one thing i like walmart for like if you're looking for basics or things that you wear every single day especially around the house and lounging it's so much more affordable. Like the set that I created with these camo shorts, I already had the sweatshirt. I just needed something else to match with it. It also comes in black. I got this in a size 2X 1921. And for this, I would say that I probably should have sized down. So bear that in mind as well. It's, I'll be honest, quite affordable. I think you're getting two of these for like under $15. And I do have other biker shorts that have paid a little bit more for that are a little bit more substantial. But again, if this is just for the house at $7 per biker short or six and a half, six dollars and fifty cents for a biker short, that's not bad. I will link these. I will also link my favorite t-shirts from the summer that I scored for like four dollars. Um, I have it in three colors and I talked about it in my summer to fall transitions video. I will also link that for you guys down below. So let me know in the comments, what's your favorite things to buy from Walmart besides groceries? Do you buy clothes, home decor, et cetera, et cetera? Let me know in the comments down below. So let's quickly talk about time and true maxi cardigan. It's pretty long. Well, I won't say it's a maxi cardigan, but it hits me about mid calf just for length reference. I just love the different colors in the knit. There's like some lighter colors, some darker colors. I actually have a similar um, chunky sweater to this from Nordstrom. And I actually got this as a dupe. It features this like little, I don't know what you would call this, sort of like detail going across. It's like more of like a dolman style sleeve. I'm wearing it here in a size 20. And I would say if you're in between sizes, you can size up, especially if you want a more cozy, sort of like lounge in and live in look. This tank top is from Amazon and it's under 20. So I will link it for you down below, but just perfect for just like a perfect outfit for like meetings. If you have like some Zoom meetings or just as we go into the cozier months, quality wise, I would give it like an eight and a half, nine. And I am very stingy with my marks. We're yet to see what it's gonna look like washed yet, but so far so good. It's, I'm really impressed with the quality. So um, the next item are gonna be these shorts. Um, I know we're going into fall and you're like, sis, why are you showing your shorts? In my defense, when I placed this haul, there was like not that much stuff out yet for fall. 
and I've been loving Bermuda shorts. So I actually originally wanted to get this short in a blue, but they had sold out in my size. So I saw this black and I was like, wait, let me try it. Um, I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. Uh, mainly because I just can't deal with this wash. Like I could dress it up if I really wanted to. Overall, besides actually the wash issue, it's a good pair of shorts. It has some stretch to it. This is from the No Boundaries line and I'm wearing this in a size 21. And sis, it fits, okay? Like if I ate one or two more crackers, it wouldn't fit. So <laughs> if you're around my size, definitely I would say um, cause I wear normally in size 18, I got the size 19, 21, which is technically kind of like a half size up. I would definitely size up one, if not two sizes, because this is a junior's pair. I do love like the fraying and the distressing. You guys know how I feel about black on black hardware. This has like black buttons. It's a five pocket style as well. And it has some light distressing on the back, like so. I don't know. I just if it had if it had just the rips, it, I wouldn't mind this. I would actually not mind this at all. So let me know in the comments what you think about this one because the item I want to share with you guys is gonna be this flannel from the Time and True brand as well. Of course, I had to check it out for myself. You guys know how I feel about this color, and I feel like I'm doing the absolute most by pairing it with this mustard shirt. But let me live. Quality wise, I would give this an eight out of 10. It feels nice and soft. It's almost like a brushed finish on the outside. It does have some weight to it, but it's not overly heavy. So I feel like it's perfect as we transition into the fall and winter months. It hits me about mid thigh just for length reference. And I would say this is true to size. I feel like this is like the perfect pumpkin patch outfit if you live in like Texas or somewhere, right? Fall on top, <laughs> somewhere on the bottom. <laughs> getting messages from you guys about jeans and just doing an updated um, denim video. Guess what? You are in luck. <laughs> this fall, I will be doing a updated sort of like denim try on slash review slash collection video on IGTV. So if you've been hearing me um, tell, talk to you guys about following me on Instagram and if you haven't done so yet, Make sure to open that description box and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss when the denim try on video goes live. All right, so let's talk about these jeans. These are from the Sofia Vergara line at Walmart. Um, I'm wearing them here in a size 18. I would say that they fit, they run kind of small in my opinion, because typically I wear a size 18 in most places they are like a medium weight jean so they're not super heavy but they're also not super light they do have some stretch to them but i am definitely wearing the the stretch in them in this size they maybe because they're i'm not sure if they go up to a size 20 i will look definitely check the description box for more details um they hit me at a weird point they kind of exaggerate my um, love handles, they're supposed to be a high rise. This is a high rise flare, but I'm gonna say this is a cropped flare. Apparently flare jeans are back. Let me know what you think about flare jeans. Are you for them, are you against them? I personally have a love-hate relationship with flare jeans. Overall, I would give these jeans a size eight out of a 10. They are a five pocket style. And, you know, wash wise, um, material wise, everything wise i think they're actually a good value for what they are so i will put a link to them in the description box below so the next item is gonna be this sweetheart neckline dress from scoop and it features elastication around the shoulders around the cuff like so it's a fit and flare silhouette now on the site it said that it ran big and they were not lying I got this in a size 16, 18, and I definitely could have gotten a 12, 14. 
it runs quite large for me across the bust, but the waist fits. So I feel like if I had gotten a 1214, it would have been a little bit snug on the waist. So construction and everything, I would give this actually more of like an eight, maybe even, yeah, yeah, I'd give this more of like an eight. It's, it's made very well. However, just the fit is a little bit off. So I will put a link to it. I believe it comes in two other colors. And of course, if you have any specific questions about anything that I share, definitely drop a comment. You can also DM me on Insta if you want like a quicker response. I know so many of you are not following me there, but I'm there. Um, yeah, so when I'm not on YouTube, that's where I always am. Please like preview my hauls there first and then you don't have to worry about things selling out. Let me know what the top three things are in this haul that I should keep. If you have scored anything at Wally World recently, also drop it in the comments down below. Contrary to popular belief, you, you know, AdSense is not what makes you the money on YouTube, at least for the for the most of us. So I'm gonna get, tell you guys a quick little story about how Magic Links personally impacted my life. So um, those of you who have been following me for a couple of years know that in 2018, I went to Nigeria for my brother's wedding. If you haven't seen my I'm Finally Ready to Talk About It video, you may not know that I was an educator in my past life. So I had not been home since 2010 and by home I mean Nigeria because I am Nigerian um, and so my brother was getting married and I was just like okay this is the time to go home I worked in education and because we don't work during the summer you know we have very limited vacation time in my county you know we were only given five days of personal leave and anything you didn't use gets just put into your sick leave so it's not like you can just rack up like three years worth of personal leave and just go on vacation no um, so I started like just doing some background digging from like research from other teachers who were like foreign and had to go home sometimes for extended periods of time. And I was just told old that you could have finesse it essentially. And I was like, okay, I can finesse it. But in order to finesse it, you had to let certain powers that be know that that's what you were trying to do. Um, again, because we could never really save up on our personal leave, this was literally the only option. And so I, when it came closer to time to go, I just, I went to the power that be, I won't say any names. And I was like, hey, you know, my brother's getting married. The trip, round trip, basically takes about four days. I would need to take about two and a half weeks off. Power that me was like, well, you should have told me a year before. I was like, I, in my mind, I was like, I couldn't even have told you a year before because I didn't know a year before. And she essentially told me that if I had to go for my brother's wedding, then I would have to go without being paid. In America, can anybody go with missing two and a half weeks of pay? Not many people. I could not miss my brother's wedding. So I was just like, you know what, that's fine. A couple of months earlier, like around September, um, I noticed that a couple of my videos were doing really well. And when I checked on my affiliates, income on Magic Links, that it was higher than expected. So even before I was in that situation, things were already working out for me. And it turns out that all of the money I made during that time period adequately, I think even more than adequately, covered my loss in pay. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful and you want more and you want more style tips and tricks or are looking to elevate slash level up your style, then all you have to do is subscribe now. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.